For this drawable instrument, we're going to connect our Makey Makey to a bunch of different apps. So let's get ready. I've got my drawing according to the specifications here on the lesson. And I've got one, two, three, four, five inputs. And this is going to be my Earth input. So I have the option of having Earth drawn or I could hold on to Earth this gray cable. Find the apps right here on the page. We have a few to try. So the first is our favorite piano app. So I've made sure my drawings are connected and I made a pretty fat end here for each drawing to connect to, but I've got my pencil nearby in case I need it. Make sure you plug it in, the little USB to the big USB, and you'll see all the lights go off, so now we know it's working. I could test my drawing with just the metal on the alligator clip. So that key's working pretty well. Oh, well, I haven't put an alligator clip on space, so that's why that one's not working. All right, and then I can actually plug Earth in right here. Make sure the metal touches the drawing. So now that I've got that there, I can hold this Earth. Or I can try to use my finger to bridge across the two drawings. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let me see if I can play a song. Yay! I can do it. Now, let's try another app. The next app I want to try is the MK1 Sampler by Eric Rosenbaum. I really like this app. And I think it's important to know that our piano app is actually coded with JavaScript. All these apps have code behind them that we can't see. This is a really fun app because it has really good sounds. So again, I'm just bridging the connections across as my finger touches the earth or the keys. It'd be the same if I was holding the Makey Makey and pressing uh, the keys this way. I was pressing on the back, cheating right there. You also have more inputs on the back of the board. So you can do W-A-S-D-F-G here, which is also the same as pressing... W-A-S-D-F-G on your computer. So I really like this one. Now I think my hands might have got a little too dry. And I also sometimes need to redraw my line. So I'll try that again. And Eric has some really great sounds on here. Kind of like this one. Another app to try is our new piano app. So our new piano app has some adjustable features. So now I can play. Or I can add a few more keys by clicking on the control panel and giving myself more keys to play. And then I'm gonna have to plug in the back of my Makey Makey. And I'm going to make this key be the S key. And then I'm gonna make this key D. And I'm gonna have to plug in the back of the board. So let me get that set up too. I'm going to want to, well, I don't have those to play on my drawing, so I don't I guess I really need them, but they're there if I want to. I could just plug into them with the back of the board just to try and see if I can press those. So here on the back is W-A-S-D-F-G, and I've got this ribbon cable from my Get Up and Go booster kit that I'm going to plug right in. And I'd have to plug more alligator clips and do a little bit more drawing, but I can just show you now. So now I've got those keys. Or I can press them. You can press them all at one time. All right, now I'm going to change the piano sound too, because I'd like to have a different instrument. Now my whole thing will be organ sound. How's that baseball song go? That's what I need to do with that one. And I'm going to try the bass, but I'm going to go lower. I'm going to drop my octaves down.
So that's our new piano app. We have lots of new fun apps to try. Let's check out the buzzer app to see who buzzes in first. I could press space to start the buzzer app. And then when I press, up, the app shows who buzzed in first. Let's try the counter app. So it's just counting how many times I'm pressing. We have lots of new apps for you to try, so spend some time trying your drawing on different apps and then let's move on to the next lesson.